Hey there, dear friends. Happy Tuesday to you. I hope all of you are having a fantastic Tuesday. Man, it's, it's like nice and warm here, so I'm kind of set, headed out to the garden to get a few things done. This is a, um, I think we're going to call this Duke of Edinburgh Art Supply Journal. She is he, he, because Duke of Edinburgh was Prince Philip, and I love this fabric, y'all. I think that it is just absolutely beautiful with its crowns and its hearts. It really does say, uh, you know, speak to the love between Elizabeth and Philip, and I'm sure that that relationship, it's five and a half inches thick. That relationship could not have been easy, y'all. And, of course, when uh, we allow the book to fall, that this is what it looks like. A lot of times people are using these, like, on the side of their desk, you know, kind of as a vertical file folder because it has all kinds of uh, creative fodder in it. Let's take a look. And our bead spawn here. Now, our bead spawn has red, white, and blue and uh, diamond ets. It also has these beautiful glass glass hearts, blue hearts, with a really shiny rhinestone right there. So I thought that that, and you know, we have the star uh, that symbolizes, um, you know, so many, so many wonderful things. Stars symbolize dreams and also stand for royalty. Uh, crowns and these little red hearts, you know, so if you are into... If you're an Anglophile like me, it would be a great book. Um, if you are into the story of Prince Philip and Elizabeth, you know, this would be a fun cover for you to work with. So let's take a look inside. Uh, I did not know a lot about Prince Philip um, until I saw um, The Crown on Netflix was on Netflix. Can't remember now. It was, he had a really amazing life. And it's, you know, it's, it's incredible that he was able to overcome all of these obstacles and marry Elizabeth. And from, you know, from the accounts of, of the, uh, the show on Netflix, they did have a happy marriage up to a point, you know, probably like everybody else. Um, when, King George passed away and Elizabeth became queen, I do believe that was like a really incredibly hard adjustment for Philip. But you know, he he really accepted his position with uh, grace and dignity. He was a young guy, so he really had to grow into his grace and dignity. Now, Elizabeth already had a, you know, a regal bearing. Anytime that you see a paper clip on a page, my friends, this is a creative cluster for you to have fun with, for you to create with. As you can see, we've got uh, some gardening catalog pages in here. I just love this beautiful rose. This is a uh, rose feeling better. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 1850 report to Congress. These are letters from farmers about the state of agriculture on their plot of land. It is fascinating reading. We have more of our garden catalog here. Vintage recipes for you. I'm getting ready to grow potatoes. So this is a very interesting article about growing potatoes. Uh, some travel ephemera. You know, we're starting to not lock down anymore. So, you know, we're getting our little travel Joneses back. We are able to go places without a mask and do things without a mask. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. These are two uh, sheets of writing paper for you. A sweet little Edith Holton pocket. It's got all kinds of creative things in it to work with, play with, you know, whether you're making mixed media or art trading cards or art trading coins or 
uh, you just need a substrate or you need uh, some text pages or you need an interesting image or you need some painty papers or maybe you need a map. <laughs> it, it's all here. Stop wondering, start wandering. I think that right now, you know, that's what we feel like. We've been cooped up for a very long time. And when, you know, when we go out into the world and we're wearing that mask, that is kind of being cooped up as well, right? Because you don't feel, you know, you always feel like, um, you know, a smile says a lot, right? Um, and, you know, you can't see people smile through that mask. You can kind of see their eyes uh, twinkle or, you know, you can see their their face crinkle or whatever. And you know that that they're smiling. These are uh, collage papers right here. Just a four-section uh, collage paper. It, it's going to be interesting. I'm just not sure I'm quite ready to go out of the house without a mask. Uh, I'm, um, I'm just not sure. But, you know, we're all going to have to make our decision. The thing is that it's um, unkind to be unkind to people. You know, just kind of remember that as we are making this big transition into, you know, a, just a different, um, a different form of life, you know, from the one that we knew before. It's not going to be quite the same. This is a big bulgy pocket. <laughs> it's got all kinds of, uh, things for you to play with, maps. I even use some of my friend Cheryl's uh, little puzzle pieces right here. I just thought that they fit really well. I got a substrate back here, uh, a guest check. This is also a really great journaling prompt. You know, uh, restaurants are opening back up. What do you think that you would love to go to? What is your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite thing to eat? Um, are you into music and theater? Are you looking forward to going back to music and theater? Concerts, movies, live theater, that kind of thing. It, this is a really convenient spot to write your feelings down about uh, getting back into the thick of it. You know, getting back into those live events with crowds and you know is that going to make you comfortable or uncomfortable i do believe that we're going to have like a learning um a learning curve right here i think that some people will be okie doke with it and some people like me um are just still wary i'll tell you why i'm still wary I have read way too many dystopian novels that start with a pandemic <laughs> and don't end well uh you know and just the things that are going on in the world and blah 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 and it's like oh you know i just i'm just not quite ready but it's okay it's okay if you're not quite ready don't don't trouble yourself and worry yourself this is a card making kit right here lots of things to make a card with right there i love this purple uh this is one of the muses. Uh, this was from National Geographic, uh, issued the 2021, one of their 2021 editions was the 2020 year in pictures, and it was really stunning. This was in Milan at one of the museums that had to shut down during the during the thing. Michelle sent some of this super cool coffee dyed paper, and I love it. I just think it's way neat. You've got a little bit of tracing paper in here, you know, more collage -y kind of things for you to uh, to play with. You've got a little bit of fabric. Maybe some fabric is, is in your creative journey today. A lovely magazine image. Um, we've got bookmarks, you know, whether you call them bookmarks or whether you call them tags or whatever you want to call them, that is what they are. Lots of uh, creative fodder. And of course, you always have uh, all of these fibers, fabrics, um, ribbons, ties up here, you know, on your, on your uh, hairy paper clips as well. The book is meant 
it's an art supply journal. It's meant to be taken apart. It's meant to enhance your creativity. It's meant to encourage you to create. A lot of times, you know, we're, we're like, want to create something, don't know what we want to do. So we end up kind of perusing through our, you know, our stash and, you know, maybe watching videos and it's like four hours later and we've got a bunch of stuff on our desk and we've watched a bunch of videos. <laughs> we still don't know what we're going to do. That's my case you know I don't know if it's like y'all's or not but it's like darn still don't know what I want to do you know a little book like this is just a wonderful jump off point whether you are writing or whether you're making cards or whether you are uh, choosing to you've got items like this where you can um, either make a card or turn it like this and fill it with paper and make a little booklet uh, art trading coin blanks right here, art trading card blanks as well. You know, you've got sweet images to work with. I love to alter magazine pages. So this says fall in love with as many things as possible. I like the way the browns all went together here. So we have this brown background. We have this beautiful moth right here on some... Um, uh, vintage text paper right here so i thought that that all went together very nicely you know envelopes are such a fun thing aren't they to have in in a um in your stash make it count this is a library that was closed down during COVID. i just thought that that was a very interesting image got painty paper to play with stay strong you know just uh you know you've you've got a sweet cluster here okay so you've got stay strong you've got believe that is an inspiration point to just kind of jump off use these elements use this page and make something delightful for yourself or happy mail or uh, you know my mom just likes to get things in the mail and sometimes it's really sweet because I put some washi tape on a um, on an envelope that I sent her recently and I got a letter from her yesterday and she had um, put the washi tape back on the envelope I was like yep mama gets it mama knows it's reusable We've got painty paper envelopes for you to craft with. Um, I, I Last year, I was trying to distract myself. So I bought some of those like circle word books. And that's what I did at night to try and, you know, have a peaceful night's sleep. Uh, sleep was very evasive last year. It's gotten a little bit better. Uh, Chris got me. Uh, a white noise machine in February and I gotta tell you that thing has really really helped me I listen to crickets at night and he'll come in the bedroom and he's like that's it's got to go it's driving me crazy but usually by that time I'm like only half asleep and I mean I'm asleep I'm hearing him so I'll cut it off he does not like the crickets got more map imagery here for you and don't forget you know these pockets are just loaded with things to work with um, I really like the way this piece turned out it says with wings you've got a really nice pre-painted substrate back here travel catalog images these have double pockets right here, so you've got two pockets of uh, two pockets of love to play with. This is a nice little fold-out piece right here. All of these things will go nicely together. I appreciate you guys asking about the farm where I work. It's been a difficult year. Uh, we've needed rain, and we had two freezes in April, and uh, we've been closed for the past two days. Our farmer practices old-fashioned authentic uh, this is from a uh, singer sewing catalog I, I love this <laughs> yeah I love her her look this is very 60s and I love all of these colors of uh, thread and I especially love the the star that's on them so you've got vintage here vintage here fabric and vintage here but we do hope that things will, you know, get better. 
paws. Vintage recipes. Uh, you know, this would make a sweet card, you guys. Uh, you could alter the outside of it or alter the inside of it. You could also use this four by six piece and fill it with paper and make a book out of it. These are some things that I made a while back. I like for you to have homemade handmade in here, you know, as well as other things. And of course, I recycle, repurpose, redo, use what I have, everything. I think it's a, um, you know, instead of just buying and buying, I think it's a fun thing to do to repurpose and and reuse the things you have. These are all vintage elements right here, and you have a bit of uh, fabric, a fabric finding right there. So lots of things to noodle around with. Really love these old recipes, pastry rolls. This looks like 1940 maybe. And there we go, my friends. This one, like I said, has a double pocket in it. So you've got, you got double the fun. All right. The Duke of Edinburgh, bless his soul. Um, this is going in the shop a little later on today. I should be getting to the post office Thursday. I'm kind of thinking Thursday this week. Um, I'm not totally sure, but I'm thinking Thursday. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Have a happy Tuesday. See you soon. Bye.